Hello everyone, Sunson Doctor 2, and welcome to a config overview of uh, slight GUI modifications. So, uh, obviously we've looked at many of them already in mod menu, as you can tell, but uh, just in case we're looking at things in the actual config files, uh, you can actually tell there is a few additions and things to look at. So if you just go to .minecraft and config, under here, there's the config, which you can see is pretty much the same as what was in mod menu, like so. So you can change certain values accordingly, or just have them enabled or disabled, for example, compared to changing the scale, color, and so on. But uh, there is one under here, which is CTS Groovy. So, uh, as you can see here, there is a reload button that I obviously didn't cover in the last one. And uh, yeah, this allows you to reload any aspects I assume from this file. I uh, assume this is also possibly based around the Groovy language as well, uh, so I don't probably understand that much of it. But uh, either way, you can change certain aspects uh, in this file accordingly, such as for the main menu to be enabled or disabled, um, the splash text being enabled or disabled, as well as the splash effect, so the module or just the splash effect. Custom splashes, you can have it defined as wood, potato, or stone as a certain effect or possibly a texture sort of aspect there. You've got the ability to have something applied, so you can go between override or append uh, to declare how you want custom splashes to be appearing and there's those that you can define. Uh, you've got the ability to change the background, so you've got the length that it stays for on the screen, you've got the fade length, so the duration for obviously certain aspects, and so on. There's the gradient that you can enable or disable, and there's images you can also have presented as well with a texture or file change that you can do. So there's the config section there, and there's the uh, background image I assume under assets or so, something like that. Uh, you can change logos or the edition section. So this would obviously be under, if we go to the title screen now, under changing Java edition or the game's title itself. Uh, you've got positioning to change for the label as well as a bunch of on-click actions as well uh, for hovered uh, mouse click functions, obviously. So, yeah. Uh, otherwise, you've got little, literal or translatable for resource packs when it comes to certain texts, which maybe that's on the button, or for the actual information displayed in here, for example, possibly. Uh, you've got the aligning of text to be left, center, or right. You've got the ability to change the color of the text, as well as hovered color, and a few other aspects. My guess is that this is maybe the same as what appears in mod menu, because uh, we check here with the config. I think there are subtle differences, maybe. Yeah, and there's button position and a few other things. Yes, yeah, so this is more like manipulating certain aspects compared to just, say, tweaking some of the stuff that we already had in the configs. Uh, this is for more messing around more with um, the title screen and um, the right-click action, sort of stuff you can do, and so on. So if you want a bit more um, to tweak than just what the configs provide, then uh, you can do that and add your own, I assume, additional functions and such, maybe. Um, so, yeah. And yeah, we've got a random button, alignment, and an on-click function doing nothing with one of the, uh, the resource packs button, I assume, or something like that. So yeah, thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.